welcome back to my youtube channel web Learnix. this is virendra kumar singh today i am going to explain spring boot ldap security so let's get started so let's under understand what is the ldap so ldap means lightweight directory access protocol basically ldap is used to handle the security related from the spring directory access means when in large uh, any organization as a large large scale they have the number sub employee and number sub portal so they are not going to authenticate uh, the member or his employee on the each and every portal they have sent uh, they have centralized one portal so put the all user information in that portal and for the authentication they first uh, check the uh, whatever the user credential available on that portal or not if user uh, information available on that portal then only they direct uh, redirect on the related access portal so ldap is the very complex architecture information so let understand with the example so let me open my eclipse so i have one pre setup ldap project let me open my palm first So for the LDAP, I have used the Spring Boot Starter Security. Second is the Spring LDAP Core and Spring Security LDAP and Unbound, Unbounded LDAP SDK. So basically, I have used the these four. So this basically uh, this dependency allowed to create the local setup of LDAP. LDAP on machine so this is the my dependency I have added in this project and one more thing LDAP basically is a very complex architecture so I am taking the reference of Spring Boot website so this is the URL so I am going to create one test server on my local machine and I copy this information this is the user information which is registered on the server so like uh, it's showing the user information like one user is the bob and user id is this and password is bob password and one other user is the ben and uh, user password is encrypted format here it's a ben only so this is the very complex architecture and this is the springs security and dc org so i need to configure this thing on my local machine so i copy from here and just i create one elder file on my local machine so in resource folder i have create one file so i right click on the resource folder new click on the file and i just put it the name test underscore server and dot ldif and I put it the my information pasted here. So this is the my user information. And for the local setup in application dot property, I have set up the local port. So this is the embedded port which is provided by the LDAP. It by default in local machine it will run on the 8389 port. And I have uh, configured the my local server path means whatever the i have added here i pass the class path and this is the embedded based dn means it will provide the how to read the this file from the my local server so org.dc same thing if you observe here added in here so spring dc spring uh, Spring framework DC org so I we need to pass same pattern here also and in security folder we need to pass the user means it represents the user uh, user name here and ou dot people it's a pattern ou dot whatever the person name so it will 
represent here and this is the showing the local machine running local machine URL so because as I show in you a property file I have we are running the this application on local machine so we need to pass the local machine URL where LDAP server is in build running and <coughs> my password encryptor is this is the mechanism I have used the password encryptor and I'm going to authorize each and every URL without permission it will not access the any URL so this is the LDAP server configuration and I have created some endpoint like admin user but it will not directly access the any endpoint because I did not open the any URL for the any member means each and every uh, you, uh, endpoint required to log in so let's check let me run on local machine so I have built let me deploy this project so project is up and running on 8080 port so let's try with the UI let access any URL so if you want to access any URL then it will first require the user ID and password so let's first check with the encrypted user ID and password so there is the one bin let me open the property file sorry not a property file local server so you can observe here username is Ben and password is this is the encrypted password so let's try with this first username is Ben and password is let's try to hit it it's showing the bad, bad credence here because I am using the encrypted password only so let's try with the actual password so as you can observe here it's showing the password is Ben password so let's try with this so now you can able to access once you are logged in then you can access any URL so this is this is the way to LDAP so this is the LDAP directory and this is the property file to set up the LDAP direct information in property file and I have passed the security label so this represents the LDAP ID and this is the user password and this is the group of LDAP group and this is local path of LDAP which is set up on the local machine for the <coughs> production environment we cannot set up the this configuration we need to pass the actual URL so as of now we are I'm, uh, we are working on the local machine so that's why I, I have set it on the local so this is all about the LDAP so friends please subscribe my youtube channel and like and share and thanks